We're getting a look tonight at the police report from an incident involving Allen County Sheriff David Gladio at the Three Rivers Festival. Good evening, I'm Hunter Petroviak. The Fort Wayne Police Department released this report after a public information request was filed with the city. Fox 55's Cody Butler has more. Has most of the information redacted, including Sheriff David Gladio's name. However, experts say this document could fulfill legal requirements. The Indiana Public Access Counselor helps people navigate Indiana's public access laws, including police reports. Public Access Counselor Luke Britt says the information that can be released varies depending upon the report. General um, circumstances regarding the incident and a factual description of any property damage, weapons, or injury involved. This is the report FWPD released. Most of the details are blacked out. It does name the 15-year-old victim, which Britt says is required by law. Fox 55 isn't naming the boy because of his age. The only description provided was the boy fell backwards on a PVC pipe and was hurt. The report does list three possible charges, including assault. Police are going to be mindful of any investigatory material that might compromise an underlying investigation. Question is, where's the balance between our need to know and the right to withhold that information for some legitimate reason? Britt says cases involving elected officials, such as a sheriff, are supposed to be treated the same as anyone else. However, director of the Center for Indiana Politics, Andy Downs, says that government officials might decide to err on the side of caution. It may be uh, an, a, a good idea or a bad idea to actually redact a little bit more. In other words, err on the side of hiding the information or holding the information back, eventually revealing it uh, when it becomes information that's been proven. Brent says the only way to really know if this information that's been redacted is supposed to be released is when the state police finishes its investigation. In Fort Wayne, Cody Butler, Fox 55 News. The special prosecutor in the case, Madison County Prosecutor Rodney Cummings, says it will be at least a month before he is able to determine if charges will be filed in this case. The Allen County Sheriff's Office tells Fox 55 Gladio is still working while state police investigate this situation.